What's up everybody, this is Jonathan with South Coast Designs and here we have the brand new Mac Mini M4. But as you see right here, it is tough to get that power button turned on when you have all the cables in the back. All the big YouTubers said that this wouldn't be a problem and I think it wasn't whenever it's not hooked up but once it's hooked up, it's a problem. Okay, now that that mess is over, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. I'll let you know my thoughts about this thing as we go along but here we have the brand new redesigned Mac Mini M4 this thing is the base model as you see right here and I'm so glad that we have finally got an upgrade on the RAM now it's 16 gigs but we're still stuck with 256 on the storage but I have a solution for that at the end so make sure to stay to the end I'll let you know what to do and as an Apple fashion everything is nicely boxed I love these pull tabs and we don't have to deal with all that saran wrap that is usually on the uh, the packaging. And here we go, the brand new Mac Mini M4. It is tiny, especially for a computer that packs this much punch. And as you see on the bottom, there is that power button. And I'll show you that it's not good enough. That's a thumbs down. As some people say, that's a bad apple. And if you know where that quote comes from, leave it in the comments below. I watch his videos and all the big YouTubers because I've been watching them for years and I love watching their reviews. But as I go through this unboxing, I'll go ahead and tell you my thoughts because, you know, this is an unboxing. It's a little bit boring, but I'll tell you about the Mac, why this happens. You can just see that this thing does come with nice braided cables, nice quality materials, but let's get into the Mac Mini M4. It has several problems that the big YouTubers have told you there is no problems, but I'm here to let you know there is a problem. And as you see in the intro, the thing that the big YouTubers told you that there wasn't a problem with the power button being pressed and you wouldn't have to turn it on and off all the time because most of the time you leave it sleeping. But once you have it fully cabled up, it is tough with the cable weight pulling down on the back and you trying to find that button it's a hassle. I don't know why Apple didn't put it on the side, put it on the top. Probably not on the top. <laughs> That's not a good idea. But on the back or on the side, making the button silver wouldn't be bad. But being on the bottom is a terrible idea. And I don't know if it's just like the Magic Mouse where they put the charging port on the bottom and they did this the same. I think they might do it just so people will talk about it. More buzz, more crazy crazy memes and stuff like that but overall it's a good product so I think people will just deal with it but there's another problem they also put the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the front and I know it seems like a good idea unless you have speakers on your desk or some cable management thing happening in the back it is not good you have to end up with a right angle cable coming out the front and it makes the whole setup look less less tidy and there's only three lightning bolt four on the back instead of four ports so now you're stuck with having one of those USB-C ports in the front also have a right angle cable and it's not a good look here's a closer look you have seven millimeters gap underneath there and you really need 14 to 15 depending on your finger size but definitely not seven as you see here, once this is all cabled up and you see those two right angle cables coming from the front, that's ugly. Uh, it's pretty tough to get your finger under here. You have to lift it up sideways. I don't know what the solution is. Maybe you can get risers to have it stand up and then you can hit the button on the bottom. Okay, here's the solution for your 256 to make this a great deal. This T7 Samsung one terabyte SSD was only $98. You can get it from Amazon. They go on and off on deals. Uh, but it is great. You can have one terabyte of storage and make sure to put all your files on there. I consciously have mine going straight to the SSD to stay, save my main drive for programs. Okay, here's a quick comparison of the Mac Mini M1, the Mac Mini M4, new redesign, and the Apple TV 4K. 
As you see, the new redesigned Mac Mini is about the size of a tissue box on its dimensions on the bottle, just a little bit bigger. Uh, and then here's the size difference from the number one, the number four, and the Apple TV 4K. So that's the end of this video. Make sure, please subscribe. Let me know if these are deal breakers for you or are you getting the new Mac Mini M4.